Lesson number six: Formatting a presentation. Today we will do exercises of this chapter. First exercise is tick the correct answers. Number one is which tab is used to create a slide master. There are three options: A. View tab. B. Insert tab. C. Design tab. Correct answer is View tab. Put a tick mark here. View tab is used to create a slide master. Second, which dialog box is used to apply fill effects? A. Background format background. B. Fill shapes. C. Effects background. Correct answer is format background. Format background is used to apply fill effects. Third, which icon is used to add a shadow behind the selected text? A bold, B font color, and C is this icon is for shadow. So, you, correct answer is C. This icon is used to add a shadow behind the selected text. Fourth, which alignment is used to align the text to both the right and left margins of the text box? A center, B justify, C left. Correct answer is justify. Justify is used to align the text to both the right and left margin of the text box. Fifth one is where is the selected clip art inserted on a slide by default? A right, B left, C center. Correct answer is center. Center clip art is inserted on a by default. Clip art is inserted. At the center of the slide I am repeating it first one is which tab is used to create a slide master it is view tab view tab is used to create a slide master second which dialog box is used to apply fill effect <coughs> correct answer is format background format background is used to apply fill effect third which icon is used to add a shadow behind the selected text Correct answer is C. This icon is used to add a shadow behind the selected text. Fourth, which alignment is used to align the text to both the right and the left margin of the text box? It is justify. Justify is used to align the text to both the right and left margin of the text box. Last one is where is the selected clip art inserted on a slide by default? Correct answer is center. In clip art, clip art is inserted at the center of the slide by default. So you have to do this in your copy. Write the heading with black pen, whole statement with blue pen and the correct option with black pen. After this, we will do true false. Write T for true and F for false. First one is any changes made to the slide master are applied to all the slides of the presentation. Is it true? Yes. Any changes made to slide master are applied to all the slides. Second, you cannot change the background color of the slide. Is it true or false? This one is false because we can change the background color of the slide. Write F for false. Third one is the insert tab is used to insert bullets and numbers. This is false because home tab is used to insert bullets and numbers. So this is false. Fourth, the strike out option is used to draw a line through the middle of the text. Yes, this is correct. So put a tick mark, uh, right, uh, right T for true. Fifth, vertical alignment is of four types. Is it true or false? This one is false because vertical alignment has is of four types so, and horizontal alignment is of four types and vertical alignment is of three types. So this one is false. Write F for false. Vertical alignment is of four types. No, this, this is of three types. So this one is false. I am repeating it. First one, any changes made to slide master are applied to all the slide this one is 
true second you cannot change the background color of the slide this is false third the insert tab is used to insert bullets and number this is false fourth the strike through option is used to draw a line through the middle of the text this one is true fifth vertical alignment is of four types this one is false so write false for f for false so you have to write whole statement with blue pen and these these action uh, these answers with black pen so do this in your fair copy thank you